up, fans? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my quick spoiler heavy review on Godzilla vs. Kong. This is more of a companion piece to my spoiler free review. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll just leave a little title card up here. So, this is gonna be very quick and brief, and yeah, that's, just, that's all I'm gonna say. Comment up right now, hope you guys enjoy the show. Alright, guys, quiet on set. Scene one, take one. Action! Boom! Now, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, make sure you share it with friends. Also, hit that bell for notifications because it helps the channel a lot. And once again, spoilers. So like I said, this is going to be very quick and brief. So I mostly just want to highlight three things of uh, what I love about this movie. So let's just uh, get on with it. I love, of course, I, I love Godzilla and, and Kong in this movie. I just love that Godzilla's, the, again, back to his original destructive rules, that he just destroys these epic facilities and just killing people out of like, like crazy. <laughs> it is awesome. And I just love that you get to see Godzilla do things that you haven't seen previously in the other movies like crawling four feet and man it is so cool and he's very aggressive here he's very ex ex expressive and most especially after he thought he won the aircraft carrier scene man i just love that he looks at kong and in kong plays that is so cool i just love that kong when he's in the hollow earth like the movie just visually tells his origins and backstory that you know his race and species belongs in the hollow earth and it's just so cool and the fighting aircraft carrier scene is so cool i already said that but it's amazing i like that it looks like godzilla won that part so yeah and and around in the, near the end of the Hong Kong battle, I just love that, you know, Kong kind of looks like he won the second round, is what uh, Nathan Lin says, when he hits Godzilla in the face with the axe. Uh, it's just so cool. But then again, at the end of the day, Godzilla wins the fights. He basically beats and claws and scratches and cuts Kong down and he just pins him down and he just roars at him and then, and then Kong roars back and when, when they both stop roaring, uh, Pretty much, Kong submits and he just, he's just knocked, he's just knocked out. And Godzilla just spares his life, it is so cool. Mecha Godzilla, he's in the movie, that's what, because in Apex, pretty much the villains here, since they were trying to get this element from the Hollow Earth, once they, you know, download that, you know, element there, that's just funny. Again, like I said in my spoiler free review, the science here is just bonkers. And then so they activate Mecha Godzilla, and holy shit, that dude is just OP like crazy. And then Kong, after Kong wakes up from losing the battle with Godzilla, they, Godzilla and Kong, they both team up and they just destroy, you know, Mecha Godzilla, that's pretty freaking badass i love it back in my fully free review I, I talked about how i love the human characters and man i just again g is my favorite character i just love that a lot of the scenes that she you know that she basically is with kong it is so cool they do these sign languages and she just guides him through the hollow earth and she, she kind of feels like a little sister and adopted daughter to kong it is amazing even after God, kong loses the battle <laughs> You know, you really felt her emotions there. It's just so cool. And I talked about how Ren Sarasawa needed more. I mean, I wish he had more screen time. And yeah, he doesn't get a lot of screen time. Also, he's the son of Dr. Ishiro Serizawa, and we don't really get a lot of screen time with him. He's just mostly in the movie, just trying to pilot Mecha Godzilla, and it doesn't go, you know, well, but still. <laughs> But Damien Bichy's character, man, oh, I just love his villainous role in this movie. He is so cool. And he's really hilarious, too, man. He's he's awesome. And Brian Terry Henry's character, man, I just love him, man. I just like that he, he basically tries to work at Apex, you know, just to, you know, infiltrate their facility to find this conspiracy that, you know, they're hiding something or they, they're up to something and Godzilla is basically innocent here. And, oh my goodness i'm glad he's right but yeah you know he is awesome so this is, i know this is a quick and short but still you know this is you know a companion piece to my spoiler free review and again like i said i stand by with my five out of five star rating or five star rating or perfect five star rating so that is my spoiler heavy review for godzilla vs kong hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you guys so much for watching my video so let me know down in the comments down below have you guys seen godzilla vs kong please let me know down in the comment section down below i'd like to hear you guys your opinions on it so this is all for my production signing off and hope you guys enjoyed the show